Hey everyone, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale and today I had to stop at my booth in my antique mall um, to unload some items so I figured I'd give you guys a quick tour while I was there. Um, they have everything, you have to walk a certain way, uh, you know, one way walking and social distance spots and stuff. So um, I will just take you inside, a quick peek inside of each booth. and show you a little bit of the antique mall I'm in. This is one of my favorite booths. Um, she has a lot of art glass. Uh, art glass is my favorite. <laughs> one of my favorite things, I should say. And she has a lot of it and a lot of cu uh, cute little figurines. She had a lot of new stuff, so I was very happy to look around at everything. I thought that was so cool. 15 bucks. I also like this idea she did with the hooks on the pegboard and you know having a couple different cups and mugs up there. I thought that was a cool idea because the spaces are um, 10 by 8 and I don't really have like you don't really have a lot of surface space. So I think I might use that idea in my booth. Just some Murano pieces. Those pieces up there are just my, my favorite. They're so beautiful. And I like what she did with the brooches and some pendants. She used a dress form and just stuck them on there. I thought that was pretty um, interesting. A lot of necklaces. I was just taking a peek at her prices. That was her booth number, 10. I was like, why is everything $10? But <laughs> um, she had good prices, four, five, eight dollars. This was another nice booth. I do have my favorite booths, <laughs> of course, doesn't everybody? Um, she also changed her booth a lot, so it was cool to see what new things she had in. My husband loves green depression glass, that glow-in-the-dark uranium. I mean, glow under the black light. Very cool, he has a whole collection. That little caddy was very neat. I love vintage Nippon hand-painted stuff. Those were really pretty. Those canisters were cool with the luster wear. Depression glass is another one of my favorites. I'm not really a fan of the yellow. I would say the green and the blue are definitely my favorite. This little guy was so cute, um, but I really didn't like the price. 28 firm, I was like, oh, okay. And then I thought that was for the little puppy figurines, but it said duck on it, so I don't know. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> This booth usually has a lot of larger pieces. That screen in the back was awesome. This booth is cool. A lot of um, like retro things, hippie stuff. Very unique items. The booths in this mall, uh, we have two different sizes. That was a large one uh, that I was just in. I forget the size of that. 
Here's some action figures, collectibles, a clothing booth. Just pulling out some pieces to show you guys. I think that said 20, oh, $34. That was really pretty, I love those colors. We have another antique mall. We actually have two others in the, in the city I live in. And this one, I have to say, is by far the most affordable. I loved these chairs. These are my favorite chairs. They're 350 for the pair. I don't know why. I think they're just so cool. I just want to sit in them and I feel like they would hug you. It would just, <laughs> just really cool. This back area is um, kind of like a free-for-all. Anyone, any of the vendors can put items in the back here. Um, and it, we get an extra commission that gets taken out. But it's cool for larger pieces that don't fit in your booth. Here's some green depression uranium glass I was looking at. $4 for the teacup, not bad. And I love jadeite. Jadeite is one of my favorites as well, but that vase was a little pricey. And those were super cute. Um, I don't know if that was real jadeite. It kind of looked weird to me, but the creamer and sugar bowl, I, I would love the sugar bowl, honestly. I really don't have a use for the creamer, but Three bucks each, I thought that was a great price. I might actually have to go back and get that. <laughs> this booth has a lot of jewelry. This lady actually has this booth, um, the unique hippie style booth that I showed you earlier, and the booth that's next to this one. She has, So she has three booths in this mall and she also works for the mall. <laughs> Just showing some items and prices. I love her booths. She always has so many things in it and I learn a lot just looking at the different items and the makers and stuff. This little, these little cats are so cute. This booth has a lot of jewelry and little knickknacks, little figurines, glass, stuff like that. And they also have the candy right there. And it's funny because I, it's really not funny, it's annoying, but I actually find the wrappers, I guess people eat the candy in their booth, walk, and then by the time they get to my booth, I find all wrappers in all my, in all my items. I'm like, oh, okay, this is really nice. They can't just put it in their pocket. <laughs> Okay, so this is now, um, oh, this lady, she does, she makes this furniture. Well, she doesn't make it, but she like refinishes it, paints it, and then like sands it to make it look old. This is the third booth of the woman I was telling you about before. This is a large booth, so it's like double the size as the other ones. She has a lot of great things in it. I thought that little horsey was so cute. <laughs> elegant depression glass. If it's etched like that, it's elegant. Just looking at some more glass. Slag glass. Just looking at the paperweights. Wanted to see a price. And I was like, whoa, okay, it's a little much. I liked that little pottery piece and I noticed it had a sticker from uh, one of the thrift stores in our town, <laughs> $2. And then on the bottom it had her $24 price. So I left it on top there. So maybe she'll see it when she comes back in. <laughs> like you gotta take that sticker off.
This girl is relatively new. She actually makes all of her jewelry. Um, and then she has some designer handbags. This booth usually has a 50% off sale, like all the time. <laughs> so her booth is usually a little sparse. Another clothing booth. I skipped that, as you can tell. <laughs> I was trying to figure out if that was real. It didn't really feel real, and it wasn't unzippered, so I couldn't look in because I only had one hand, so I was like, oh, okay, never mind. I love rotary phones. I think they're so cool. I've bought and sold probably like at least 10 in the past year and they definitely do sell even if they don't work I've sold them um, and I just list them as like movie props and they sell usually within like two weeks two or three weeks this is one of our friends booths we met them while we were setting up our booths um, they're really, really nice people. They live upstate from us, uh, so they only come like maybe once a month to fill their booth. But I always love looking at her scarves. She has such pretty things. That's a relatively new vendor. And this is the woman who owns the mall. This is her booth with her husband. And then here's my booth. So I noticed that picture right there <laughs> was not mine, so I was gonna move it. Um, some people I notice leave things in my booth that aren't mine, maybe they change their mind. So here's my little jewelry, I just set that up today with my custom card backs. Uh, I have a lot of my art on sale because I wanna get that moving, I have a lot more art to put up. My dad makes those little metal figures. My little figurine section. Some Jasper wear, some hens on a nest, some more jewelry, long pieces, long necklaces. This is like my little pottery section. I have some Hull and Hager. That orange shelf is like more kitchen type items and I had a bunch of Balik up there and some of it sold. I have, that's that used to be mine. I decided to part with it. Then we have a beautiful fur coat. I had a black one which sold. Here's my depression glass. I still have some Easter items out because that's you know right before we shut down. And that's just the front of the store. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell notification to let you know when I make a new video. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.